My name is, um, well, I can't exactly remember, but my name isn't important right now. What is important is that I'm a spy. I work for the government, you know, sneaking around and things like that. And, uh, well, I actually also get to try, you know, secret gadgets and stuff. We don't have any sort of special warehouse like in the movies. Being a spy is really different than the movies, so usually I just try it out in my garage, which has problems sometimes. One day I got this secret mission where I had to get in my car and drive to this regular house where everything was hidden. I had to be very careful. And there's a picture of an anti-government device that I had to get. There's very explicit instructions. And then everyone would be happy. I read the whole thing over very carefully. And uh, then I got my car. I actually have two cars, but the government gives me a regulation federal vehicle. I don't know why, but they say it, it's very important that I drive this particular car on my missions. So eventually I found it, and uh, it was right where the plan said it would be. It looked like Legos, actually, but uh, it wasn't. I, I reached to take it, and... That's when everything went wrong. <coughs> no. I I couldn't believe what had happened. So Later, I, I went home. I walked the cold, unfriendly streets back to my government car. It's not very powerful, so sometimes I have trouble on driveways. But what happened that night made it so much worse. I lie awake that night, staring at my ceiling. The normal, friendly glow of my Thomas the Tank Engine nightlight seemed an empty stare. I was planning to quit my job that morning. Then, suddenly, I remembered why I got into the field of spying. I love my job.